Hello friends, I'm back with uh, another video where I will show you how we can control Yale smart access lock with uh, uh, a Wi-Fi. So we need a bridge, we need uh, a bridge, Yale access bridge like this and uh, we are going to connect uh, this uh, bridge using the home Wi-Fi and this uh, bridge is going to connect your lock, Yale smart lock with internet and you can control your rock from any remote location okay so let's just quickly jump into it so this is my Yale smart lock it is already paired uh, as I've showed you in the last video and I can control this lock using the app so currently the connection is using Bluetooth I'm using the Bluetooth uh, to make uh, the connections uh, now let's start uh, this bridge so we'll what we'll do is we will go to the setup new device option like this and uh, then i'm going to scan the qr code of uh, the bridge and then i am going to plug in this yale bridge and uh, okay light you might not be able to see but the light is blinking green so i say okay it is scanning for the connect continue and i will use this uh, for my this lock and now i have to use i have to enter the wi-fi credentials so just give me a minute So here I've entered the Wi-Fi credentials and uh, let's just give the command to connect. Yes. So now as you can see the light is blinking quite fast. So the connect is trying to connect to the internet uh, using the password that I've just given uh, on the app. And it may take a couple of minutes uh, for connect to connect to the internet as well as to the Yale access server. Now it says your connect has been added to Wi-Fi. Let's test these signals. As you can see the lock, the bridge as well as uh, the phone and Wi-Fi is also within uh, three to four meters range. So should not be a problem uh, in analyzing the smart lock and connect signals. Uh, I would recommend you to keep uh, this bridge and lock within 3 to 4 meters of range and should not be any obstacle in between if you want a seamless connectivity. So it says uh, the connect and the lock distance is okay. The connect and the Wi-Fi distance is also okay. So let me just uh, finalize the setup and uh, it's performing the final uh, setups. It says continue. So now you can see it's connected through Wi-Fi. So it will show you the signal. Earlier there was no signal. Uh, this app automatically selects the best possible connection from the lock. So let me just show you uh, by disconnecting my Bluetooth and I will just use Wi-Fi to uh, control this lock. So here I will uh, turn off my Bluetooth and I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, let me turn off the mobile data as well and then I will show you so just see the seamless connectivity it's connected through Wi-Fi the data is going to server and then it is coming back from server but still the connectivity is very very seamless now let me connect to the mobile data and uh, I'll show you how this uh, uh, responds to the mobile data as well so I will just turn off the Wi-Fi turn on the mobile data and uh, it seems to be connected let me give command Welcome. using the mobile data is also it's very very seamless uh, thank you for watching guys uh, if you have any questions please uh, drop in your comments i would be more than happy to answer your comments uh, your questions thank you